Ashley, can you please introduce us to your daughter? So this is Peyton. She is almost a year old next month. <laughs> Isn't she the cutest? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so Ashley, tell us. Um, there was something that had happened when Peyton was born. Can you tell us a little bit about what that was? So when she was born, one of her thighs was a little bit more swollen than the other one, and it was really red, and so we weren't sure what was going on. Yeah. So, so tell us. I know you had... Um, initially seen this right when she was born she's a natural man <laughs> right when she was born and so did you guys go to the doctor or what happened in that process so we had to go get an ultrasound done on her leg and they checked to see what it was that was in there why it was swollen um there was something in there they just weren't sure what it was after the ultrasound it was a they thought it was a hematoma or something like that <laughs> Um, which is just a collection of blood cells. Yeah. Like a, normally they're on top of the skin, but this one was just weird that it was under the skin. Okay. But. <laughs> that's, that's, um, so, so, okay. <laughs> She's obviously doing really good, folks. This is awesome. So, okay, so now I know you had that initial ultrasound. What was the next thing that happened going further into that process? So after that, they decided that something was there, so we went to get an MRI, and um, they had to put her to, they thought they were going to have to put her to sleep, but she just miraculously fell asleep and was asleep for the whole MRI. Um, that, they decided there was a mass in there, and it wasn't a hematoma because it was surrounded by the blood cells, so it was like an actual mass surrounded by blood cells, not, not a hematoma. So with that MRI, which is miraculous, I don't know if any of you have been through an MRI before, MRI before, but they're noisy, they're loud, and she fell asleep during it. Like, that is, a miracu is miraculous in itself. And you had, you had told God that she knew by that, that her daughter falling asleep, she knew that God was going to heal her. Because it was like one of those things that was so miraculous in itself that it was just one step, one sign to let her know that God was going to heal her daughter. And so now with that MRI, what had the doctors decided was ultimately what was going to need to happen? So they wanted to do a biopsy on it. So we had to, they wanted to put her to sleep and put her under anesthesia and do a biopsy, actual surgery where they cut into her leg and test it to see if it's cancer or what exactly what type of a tumor it was so during this time I mean this wasn't a short amount of time this was over the span of several months I mean she's your newborn daughter and what what was going on in your mind during that time like what type of emotions were you feeling and what how were you combating those things I was definitely scared and you just try not to let fear creep in I kept speaking life like no God I believe she's blessed, she's healed, you're going to heal her. I'm not going to let fear creep in, and I'm not going to let fear take authority over, like, a control of me. Yeah. I was going to have authority over it. and Absolutely. That's how we stand, you guys. Like, come on. That's, that's, that's good. That's good stuff right there. So, <clears throat> so now in the midst of all of this, I mean, she still has the mass on her leg, but you are standing and believing. You're combating fear. You're, you're choosing to have faith in God versus fear over whatever this thing is. Now, you had scheduled this surgery out, and the first time you went over, tell us about what, what that looked like. So we went over for the biopsy, and... She had been sick two weeks before that with uh, influenza. And so we got there after driving all the way to Seattle from here. And they said, well, we're going to reschedule because she needs to be not sick for three weeks at least. So we're going to do an MRI or an ultrasound again just to, so it's not a wasted trip. And so they did it again and it was still there. And then they noticed there was another smaller bump right below it. So, after that. so what do you feel like after that? I was feeling a little bit defeated, but I was like, no, God, I know that you're in control and there's a reason and a purpose and a plan. And I'm just going to not fear because fear is something that just captivates me. And so I was I didn't even let it creep in. Everybody was like, how do you feel? God's going to heal her. I feel good. You know, yep, amen. <laughs> amen. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> OK, so the first time you go over to get a surgery, it's a no go because she has the flu. So now you guys push it out a little bit further. And what happens the next time you guys go? So the next time we go, 
was the it was the day you know it's all setting in you it's like okay she's actually gonna have surgery today and I'm just gonna have to accept that well we went in and I'm crying and nervous and they're like we're just gonna do an ultrasound just to be safe you know just check it out one more time and they went in and I they came back and he's like well it's gone there's nothing in there it's like <laughs> amen amen God is so faithful and so good. So for, I know that you're not the only one who's been believing for healing, believing for salvation, believing for whatever over their children, over their families. What would you tell people who are in the same or simul similar position as what you were in? Just don't be afraid because that's what cripples you. Just tell, speak to your mountain and tell it to move. Don't let it tell you what to do. Yeah. Absolutely. Amen. God is so good. Come on, let's give it up. Thank you, Ashley.